are starting off the vlog, the Rory Gilmore day in my life, with a little walk over to the coffee shop and bookstore that I always go to. We are gonna go to a cafe or a diner type situation like Luke's. However, I felt like Atticus was more fitting because this is my go-to spot every morning, or it used to be when I lived a little bit closer. So we're gonna stop and get some coffee in true Gilmore fashion and then go back and change and try on various outfits to suit the Rory mood before studying today. Got our coffee and now we are sitting outside of Branford College, which would be Rory's College. And then across the street over by Cross Campus is Berkeley College, which is the college that Logan would have attended. So I felt like it was only fitting that we come and sit and have our coffee. I'm sorry, I got matcha. Katie actually got coffee, but I am a traitor and I got matcha and got some breakfast. So we're just gonna sit here and enjoy being on campus. It's very quiet out and we're filming this on the weekend. Luckily, there's not very many students out. And then we'll head home and then we're gonna try on outfits that Rory would wear and then go study. time to select a Rory outfit. The key here is layering. It is not autumn. I was supposed to film this back in the fall. I did not. And because the expectation of making this video as good as it could be meant that I just didn't film it at all. But now I'm about to leave New Haven. And so here's what we got. Let's pick an outfit. We'll start with the outfit I've got on. I have normal jeans. I would want something slightly baggier because the skinny leg jean jegging trend didn't really come about until the 2010s and the early 2000s. The Gilmore Girls era was all about the, the mom jeans and the straight leg or boot cut jeans. The next thing is about layering. So I've got a white tank top. I think it's just from Abercrombie and Fitch. I've got this Madewell Henley button down, and then I've got this J. Crew jacket. Katie mentioned that I should have a jean jacket. I don't own one. And when Katie and I went into my closet to try to find outfits to suit Rory's aesthetic, we discovered that I don't own basics and that layering is, is a bit of a challenge when you don't have a wardrobe with basics in it. But you know, we're gonna make it work. And now we're gonna move on to outfit number two. You see, this is what I should have worn back in October when I was meant to film this. Here we've got outfit number two, which looks like this outfit that Rory wore and that has been so infamously copied on Tumblr, Instagram, YouTube, Pinterest. And this is just a cable knit sweater from Madewell that I got in the clearance section and same jeans but then I have my combat boots. These are from Sam Edelman. And the chunky boot with the big baggy sweater seems to be a thing that Rory sported quite often. However, it is a bit warm here in New Haven. At the moment, it's not autumn. So we're gonna switch into something a bit more weather appropriate. Next, we've got on a little wrap dress, which feels very Rory appropriate going for little garden party or something along those lines. This is not something I would wear to the library, but it is very cute. I got it at Brandy Melville like seven years ago and 
It's not a brand that I stand behind now. I would not buy anything from them ever again. However, I do really love this dress, but wrap dresses are the most versatile. We were wearing them in the early 2000s and we're still wearing them today. So this is outfit number three. Now we're gonna move on to outfit number four. I think we have a winner. This is outfit number four and the one that I feel the most comfortable to go study in, but also feel like I have a bit of a worry layering thing going on. So I have the same white tank top from Abercrombie and this little Madewell cardigan type situation. And then I've got these baggy ripped jeans. And I would pair this with a pair of Converse if I had them, but I do not own Converse. So I'll be just be wearing my normal sneakers. However, Let's style it up with a little bit of jewelry. Rory doesn't wear a lot of jewelry, but we're gonna introduce the sponsor of today's video, which is Ana Luisa, by putting on some beautiful dainty pieces that I think would match Rory's style. I figured that the perfect partner for this video would be Ana Luisa because they are currently hosting their Mother's Day sale. And for any of us that have watched and loved Gilmore Girls, we all have seen the relationship between Lorelai and Rory throughout the show. And when I watched the show back when I was a teenager, I would come home during my lunch breaks and would watch an episode. And so much of the dynamic between Rory and Lorelai reminded me of my relationship with my mom. Therefore, I thought that this would be a really great partnership in order to show off some of Ana Luisa's dainty, beautiful, sustainable jewelry pieces, as well as to give you the discount code in order to to shop for this Mother's Day sale. Whether you're looking to get some jewelry pieces to celebrate yourself or to celebrate your mother or the mother figures in your life, then I highly recommend going out and checking out Ana Luisa. I've been working with Ana Luisa and their representatives for two years now, and I have a full collection of all of the various pieces, and I just love how versatile they are because I have a lot of statement pieces that I'll wear for a night out or for a special occasion, but I also have these really beautiful dainty pieces like the ones that I'm wearing today, including my braided Chloe ring and this new ring that I received right here, as well as the simple gold necklace that I'm wearing in this video. And with this Mother's Day promotion, I think it is a great time to celebrate the mothers in our lives, as well as the relationship between Lorelai and Rory, as I am in this video. If you're interested, go ahead and check out the links down below, as well as the discount code. And let's go ahead and get back into the video and let's head to the library. We have left the library. I got so much done. Okay. Studying like Rory definitely is effective because I managed to write several paragraphs from my perspectives that were fresh text, fresh prose, but need a little change of scenery. So it's time to find a reading tree. Hi, this is my tree, but I'm sitting here. Yes, but you don't understand. Like this is my reading tree. This is where I get all my work done. You work at the tree? Yeah. So what do you want me to do about that? 
Can I like pay you for it? 20 bucks. I'll Venmo you. All right, it's yours. However, I don't think that Rory, Rory would actually be reading about black life in the archives, but here we are. What would Rory be re reading? Ayn Rand. <laughs> and how do you feel about that? I have thoughts. <laughs> Studied at the Reading Tree, did a little bit of reading about black life in early modern England, and now it is time for Rory's favorite food, tacos. I need a taco. And we're gonna go ahead and go get a little snack, go get some tacos, and have friend time, because after she'd be done at school, she'd be going and hanging out with Lane. So Katie is gonna be my sand in Lane today, and we're gonna go get some tacos. And that unfortunately marks the end of the day in the life of Rory Gilmore video. I had planned on consuming more coffee, coming home, ordering a ton of takeout and hanging out with Katie and watching a movie. But as a PhD student, I just ended up coming back and having a lot of work to do on my prospectus. And so I just wanted to go ahead and wrap up the vlog here. I absolutely loved getting to be a little bit more creative with the vlog. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure to give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and check out Ana Luisa's Mother's Day sale, which is going on today, as well as put a recommendation for other types of themed vlogs you'd like to see. I'm gonna be moving to London in less than two weeks and would love to incorporate some fun and different vlogs for you guys. So recommendations are greatly appreciated. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.